Whales are among the strongest animals out there. And that comes down to size. Even a baby whale is a colossal, meaty slab of blubber and muscle. But don't let that fool you into thinking that they're always unstoppable juggernauts amidst the chaotic carnage of brutality that is the animal kingdom. More beasts and creatures than you might expect have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a whale in the field of combat and come out the victor. 20 animals that could defeat a whale. Number 20, Mosasaurus. Yes, this dinosaur is a character of the movie Jurassic World. After the animals from the aviary broke out of their the Mosasaurus ate a pteranodon that was trying to catch Zara Young by flying over its cage. Zara, who was in the pterodon's claws, was also eaten. It was a bad day for her. We think that these watery creatures lived between 82 and 66 million years ago during the Campanian and Maastrichtian times of the late Cretaceous. At the end of the 18th century, a preserved head was found for the first time near Maastricht. It was the first proof that these sea lizards did exist. People have talked a lot about whether these ancient animals were more like snakes or lizards. Georges Cuvier, who was also known as the father of paleontology, found in 1808 that they were similar to monitor lizards and snakes of today in some ways. Fossils of mosasaurs have been found in North America, Antarctica, South America, Europe, and Africa. And you can bet that the whales of the time would have hated running into these guys. Number 19, Megalodon. Here's a big fish that looks rather like a well-known fish from today. The Megalodon is the great-great-grandfather of the great white shark. Its name, Megalodon, means big tooth, and it lived between 23 million and 3.6 million years ago. Even though we only have a few pieces of this shark, we have been able to put together a pretty scary picture of it. This shark is thought to have been one of the world's biggest and most dangerous killers. The largest fossil pieces come from megalodon sharks that could have been up to 20 meters long. This animal's bite could have been as strong as 181,000 newtons per square centimeter, which is enough to break a car in two. This was the ideal top predator because it was the only one that could catch the biggest fish in the seas. It probably killed whales, seals, and sea turtles, and it greatly impacted the environment. Fossil pieces have been found worldwide, so they were roaming everywhere. Scary. Unlike the great white shark, it didn't try to attack the victim's soft underbelly. Instead, it smashed through the victim's chest, broke all the bones, and crushed the heart in a deadly attack of strength and force. Wow. Number 18, false killer whale. People often think that false killer whales are real killer whales, but they are a different species with a different set of skills. One of their most amazing traits is that they can kill sharks and even whales. Yeah, these guys are like the most dangerous animals in the ocean and they won't let anyone stop them. Even though they're called false killer whales, they're not dangerous to people and are known to be very social. They're also very smart and people have seen them communicate with each other in complex ways. But back to the question at hand, could a false killer whale beat a whale? Yes, it's the clear answer. This thing is strong enough to kill another whale. False killer whales have been seen hunting smaller whales in the wild, and they are more than strong enough to kill even big and strong whales. So the next time you're out in the ocean and see a false killer whale, remember to treat him with the respect he deserves. These amazing animals really are the princes of the ocean, and you don't want to mess with them. Oh, and if you don't want to have a whole team of false or true killer whales showing up to splash you senseless, then hit that like and subscribe button now. Number 17, Leviathan. Leviathan lived up to its name. It was the biggest ancient whale ever and weighed as much as the huge shark Megalodon. The scary sea monster in the Old Testament was called Leviathan, which seems like a great name for this big whale from long ago. The trouble is that as soon as scientists gave this name to their find in 2010, they found out that it had already been used for a group of mastodons that had been named a century before. The shortcut was to use the Hebrew spelling Leviathan instead of the other spelling, even though most people still call this whale by its original name. Paleontologists think that Leviathan was about the size of a modern sperm whale 
with a length of up to 15 meters from head to tail and a weight of up to 50 metric tons based on the length of its head, which was three meters. This male leviathan, which lived around 13 million years ago, the biggest killer whale of the Miocene, it would have been at the top of the food chain if not for the Megalodon. Number 16, Orca. We talked about false killer whales, so we couldn't leave true killer whales off our list today. People know that these whales hunt, fight, and kill sharks. And it's not just small sharks. They've been hunting hammerheads, makos, great whites, threshers, and whale sharks, which are some of the biggest sharks in the ocean. And if there's nothing else to eat, killer whales will even go after the biggest whales. No other predator in the water can fight with a killer whale. And a great white shark would have no chance against one of these huge mammals. Not only is it one of the biggest animals, but it's also one of the fastest and one of the smartest. This is one of the most amazing things in nature. And most experts think that they are friendly to humans, at least when we leave them alone in the wild. They are actually dolphins and they are the biggest dolphins. They weigh about six metric tons and are over nine meters long. They are top hunters and will eat almost anything, but they like seabirds, squid, octopuses, sea turtles, sharks, rays, and fish the best. Number 15, Dunkleosteos. You'll be glad to hear that the Dunkleosteos hasn't been around for a while. To be exact, about 350 million years. This is a huge monster you probably won't ever see, which is a big relief if you like to swim in the ocean. Let's look at how scary it is as a fossil, though. Now, let's pretend that this thing really is swimming around in the water. I'd definitely be staying on land for good, maybe pools, if that were out there in the sea. They could grow up to up to nine meters long and tipped the scales at 4.5 metric tons. This monster fish could quickly open and close its teeth and had a huge bite force of 11,000 kilopascals. This system seems to have worked pretty well since these fossils have been found in North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco, among other places. This was the most badass monster from a long time ago. It had a huge head covered in plates, making it look like a tank. At the front of the mouth, these plates grew into points that worked like teeth. As the fish got older, its teeth would keep getting bigger which meant it could get bigger and bigger food. Number 14, polar bear. Polar bears are really big animals. A male polar bear can weigh up to 680 kilograms, which is crazy. They are very different from other big bears in that they have very long bodies and long heads, but short little legs. They also have special claws that help them walk on the ice, which is common where they come from, at least for now anyways. They also spent a lot of time in the water and their bodies have changed to help them swim well. And yes, they can even attack and hunt whales down there, at least the smaller ones. Polar bears have almost nothing to worry about in their natural setting, where they are almost never threatened. They can swim up to 320 kilometers in cold Arctic seas. They can kill animals like whales and walruses, but as this video shows, opening up one of these huge cans of meat is not always easy. Polar bears, only have to worry about other polar bears and when a strange male shows up, it can be hard for the females. Sometimes they'll kill young polar bears whose father was another male. Number 13, hippos. These huge creatures can go up to 4.5 meters long and are about 1.5 meters tall at the shoulders. They can weigh anywhere from 1,361 to 1,814 kilograms, making them one of Earth's biggest animals. The body of the hippopotamus is made like a barrel and it has short legs and big wide head. Their mouths are full of tusks made of ivory that can grow up to 50 centimeters long. With these tusks and their teeth, they can deliver a fierce bite that can break bones and protect them from danger. They can break a crocodile in half with their teeth. Hippos are half aquatic animals, so they spend most of their time in the water. They've learned to live in rivers, lakes, and ponds where they can stay cool and protect their sensitive skin from the sun. They are great swimmers and can move surprisingly quickly through the water. Hippos are vegetarians and most of what they eat are grasses and plants that grow in water. They have a unique way of feeding. They leave the water at night to eat on land. They can eat up to 36 kilograms of plants in a single night. Could they defeat a whale? Well, 
They are very unlikely to ever meet one, so we might never know, but if a whale ended up in a pond in Africa, then might have a bad time with a group of cranky hippos around. I don't know. Number 12, Colossal Squid. Many interesting creatures live in the depths of the ocean, and the Colossal Squid is a big, strange cephalopod that lives many kilometers below the surface of the ocean. On the other hand, the sperm whale is the biggest toothed dirt on the earth. It's also one of the largest animals on earth. So could a squid defeat one of these whales? Well, colossal squids are a lot like other types of squids when it comes to their anatomy. For example, they have fins and a cape like most other squids, but they stand out because of how big they are. Because they like to live deep in the water around Antarctica, they're hard to study. And so far, only a few specimens have been found. Even though scientists don't know much about this squid, they have good reason to think that it holds several records in the animal world, including being the biggest invertebrate on Earth. Colossal squids have the biggest eyes of any known animal. Their eyes can be up to 40 centimeters in diameter. These squids also hold the record for being the largest animal that is not a mammal. They can weigh more than 450 kilograms. The giant squid's brain is the shape of a ring around the tube that goes from the beak to the digestive system. Even though they're big and can do a lot of damage with their hooked limbs, these big crustaceans are both predators and prey. Researchers think that sperm whales that live in the same seas eat them quite often. In fact, finding the beaks and other parts of giant squids in the stomachs of sperm whales have given scientists important information about the size, shape, and environment of adult squids. But at the same time, we've found sperm whales with serious scars from colossal squid fights, so we know that these big squid don't make it easy for the whales. Number 11, Great White Shark. A great white shark is much smaller than a giant sperm whale. The whale measures about 18 meters long, while the great white shark is only about six meters long. The difference in weight is also very significant. A giant sperm whale can weigh between 45 and 70 metric tons, while a great white shark usually doesn't get much bigger than 907 kilograms, though some have been found to be as big as 2,268 kilograms. A big sperm whale needs to eat 900 kilograms of food every day, but it doesn't like sharks. Instead, it likes to eat squid, as we've just found out. The great white sharks hunt by sneaking up on their prey. They usually attack from below with so much force that they break the surface of the water with the food in their mouths. But against a sperm whale or a killer whale, sorry, Mr. Shark, you have no chance. Number 10, Ichthyosaurus. The Ichthyosaurus was a sea creature that lived during the Jurassic time. It was also a scary creature. Biology books have long said that the blue whale is the biggest animal that has ever lived. However, a new fossil and other interesting finds suggest that there may have been even bigger animals moving in the seas of Earth in the past. It is thought to have evolved from land-living lizard, like other ichthyosaurs. Even though it looked a lot like sharks and other modern fish, it also looked a bit like some dinosaur. Some ichthyosaur bodies were as long as nine meters, and a new fossil suggests one could have been three times that. The first fossils were found in England at the start of the 1800s. Scientists say it may have been common in the Atlantic Ocean and the seas around England. Number nine, Leopleurodon. The Leopleurodon was a big meat-eating sea lizard that lived between 150 and 160 million years ago during the middle and late Jurassic periods. They were top hunters that lived all over Western Europe and ate many different kinds of animals. People tend to forget that some sea animals from the past didn't have gills. So just like whales and dolphins do today, Leopleurodons had to come up to the top to get a big breath of air. The Leopleurodon was a carnivore that mostly ate sea lizards or the Chimerosaurus. Leopleurodons hunted by sneaking up on their food and slamming into it with their big fins. Their noses pointed forward, suggesting that they had a good sense of smell that helped them find food far away. Number eight, Chronosaurus. Chronosaurus was one of Earth's biggest and deadliest marine reptiles. It ruled the early Cretaceous seas. I mean, it ruled. The name Chronosaurus comes from the Greek god Kronos, who was Zeus's dad. To be precise, Kronos wasn't really a god. He was a titan, which is a type of supernatural being that came before the Greek gods. 
In order to keep his power, the story goes, Kronos ate his own children, including Hades, Hera, and Poseidon. Then Zeus struck his mythical finger down his dad's throat and made him throw up his divine children, and the rest is history. The Kronosaurus skeleton at the Harvard Museum of Natural History in Cambridge, Massachusetts, is one of the most impressive fossils in the world. It's over 12 meters long from head to tail. Unfortunately, it looks like the paleontologists who put together the exhibit put in a few too many vertebrae, spreading the false idea that Kronosaurus was much bigger than it really was. The largest identified specimen is only about 10 meters long. Even though Kronosaurus was very big, its teeth weren't very good. They were only a few centimeters long and didn't have the sharp edges of more advanced marine reptiles that could kill you with one bite, not to mention prehistoric sharks. This pliosaur probably made up for its blunt teeth by having a powerful bite and being able to chase down its prey quick. Once Kronosaurus had a good hold on a pliosaur or a marine turtle, it could shake the animal until it was unconscious and then crush its head like an underwater melon. Yummy. And you can bet that it tried this out on a few whales in its time too. Number seven, Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus was a type of whale that no longer exists. It lived between 40 and 34 million years ago. Its long snake-like body, which could be up to 18 meters long, makes it easy to recognize. Basilosaurus had a lot of things that made it stand out. Vestigial but much shorter back limbs, very long vertebrae, and a skeleton that suggests it moved like an eel were some of these features. Basilosaurus didn't have a melon organ like whales and dolphins do, which they use for echolocation, so it probably couldn't go deep underwater. Basilosaurus fossils were first found in Louisiana, but since then, more have been found in Egypt and Pakistan, as well as in the United States. The story of how Basilosaurus was found is pretty interesting. During the 19th century, there were a lot of fossils of the animal in Alabama and Louisiana. So many that people used the bones to make furniture. On the other hand, some fossils were sent to the American Philosophical Society, where Dr. Richard Harlan looked at them. Harlan looked at the fossils and decided that they were from a reptile. He named the species Basilosaurus, which means king lizard in Greek. Sir Richard Owen looked at more samples and came to the conclusion that the animal was, in fact, a mammal. But the name stuck, and that's why we still call it that. Number six, Predator X. Pliosaurs are a group of water diapsid animals that lived from the end of the Triassic period and the beginning of the Jurassic period until the end of the Cretaceous period. Sometimes they're called Predator X because this makes them sound even more badass. Even though pliosaurs have been called sea lizards for a long time and are still often called that out of habit, they're actually diapsids. In fact, the reorganization of how living things are put into groups have shown that reptiles are not a monophyletic group with a single shared ancestor, but a paraphyletic group that came together from various evolutionary sources. So this group doesn't really exist. Pliosaurs have short necks and long heads, which is the opposite of pliosaurs, which have long necks and small heads. To swim, they had to move their bodies and use four big blades. They ate meat and their jaws were long and strong with many teeth. These would have been a nightmare for any whale that met them. Number five, Belcher's sea snake. Belcher's sea snake is an elapid sea snake species that is very dangerous. Its nature is very shy and it only uses its bite when it has been provoked. But could this tiny snake kill a blue whale or killer whale if it bit them? Even though the venom of the Belcher's sea snake is strong enough to kill 100 people, a blue whale can grow up to 30 meters long and weigh up to 150,000 kilograms, which is a lot more than 100 men put together. This means that if a Belcher sea snake and a blue whale were to fight, it would be unlikely for the sea snake's venom to hurt the whale. Most sea snake bites happen to fishermen who are carrying nets, but only about a quarter of those who are bitten get sick because the snake doesn't inject much of its venom. The Belcher sea snake, also called the hook-nosed sea snake, has gotten a negative image as the most venomous snake in the world. They're actually very chill and hate to kill anything for no reason. They're my homies. Even so, you shouldn't try and mess with them because they're still pretty dangerous, okay? It has a thin chrome yellow base with dark greenish crossbands. The head is short and has bands of the same color. Avoid it. From above, it looks like its body is a pale golden color. Watch out. This snake is different from most other snakes because it scales meat. 
On each dorsal scale, there is a protrusion in the middle. In the back, the body is very tight on the sides. The scales on the belly are very small and aren't much bigger than the scales on the back. It's a pretty unusual snake, that's for sure. Number four, Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus was a big crocodiliform that lived between 82 and 73 million years ago. Sharks, aquatic lizards like Mosasaurus, theropods like Tyrannosaurus, and other Dinosuchus may have been among its biggest predatory foes. Most of the time it ate dinosaurs, sea turtles. Dinosuchus is also a cousin of alligators and crocodiles, even though a study on its brain case suggests otherwise. The name comes from the Greek word denos, which means terrible, and sukos, which means crocodile. The species was named and described in 1909, but the first remains of it were found in the 1850s in North America. In the 1940s, more pieces were found, and the American Museum of Natural History used them and tried to put together a head as best they could. Even though we still don't know much about the dinosuchus, better skull parts found recently have helped us learn more about this huge alligatoroid. One study shows that dinosuchus may have lived for up to 50 years. It grew at a rate similar to that of modern crocodiles, but it's growing for a much longer time. Fossils of Dinosuchus have been found in 10 states in the US, including Texas, Montana, and many states on the East Coast. Number three, saltwater crocodile. These dangerous animals are the real deal, people. Salties aren't crocs. In fact, males can grow up to six meters long, which is much longer than any croc on the earth. But saltwater crocodiles are dangerous for more reasons than just their size. With a jaw pressure of more than 2,000 newtons per square centimeter, they can bite down on their food like a pair of bolt cutters. Just look at that killer smile. They can hide just under the surface of the water and wait for their next meal to swim by. These crocodiles are also known for their amazing ability to jump. Sometimes they can even launch their huge bodies completely out of the water. Don't forget their death roll, either, that move. When they have something tasty in their mouths, they spin and twist, like crocodiles at a disco, to break it up into bits that they can eat. So the next time you're near water where crocodiles live, make sure to stay away and show these big animals the respect they deserve. Stay away from their sharp teeth and just enjoy watching how wild they are. Number two, the blue. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration found a strange and mysterious sound called the bloop in 1997. Even though this ultra-low frequency noise has been studied and researched a lot, it still fascinates both experts and people on the internet. Even though it's often called the bloop sea monster, no one knows for sure where this noise comes from. The bloop was caught in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with a set of hydrophones that were set up to listen to sounds coming from the ocean floor. The bloop is special because it can be heard both above and below the water. This has led to a lot of theories about where it comes from. In 2012, the bloop was found again over 2,000 meters below the top of the South Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Some people think that an unnamed sea creature might be making the bloop, but NOAA scientists say the exact cause of this strange sound is still unknown. But if it's an animal, it's the biggest animal ever. And maybe it eats blue whales for breakfast, who knows? One idea is that the bloop sound could be caused by Antarctica's ice shelves breaking. The unique qualities of the sound, like how often it happens and how long it lasts, make it seem like it comes from nature rather than a machine. Annual ice quakes and sea ice loss have been seen to follow the same trends. The fact that bloop sounds are rarely recorded and don't happen often makes it unlikely that they are made by humans, but it could be tests for a sonic weapon. If these sounds do come from cracks in ice shelves, they may be heard more often as temperatures rise in the polar areas. Number one, dolphin. Friendly dolphins, surely they wouldn't want to harm their whale cousins, would they? No, well, it seems that some dolphins aren't so friendly at all. This pilot whale found out the hard way. The Scottish Marine Animal Strandings Scheme has been trying to figure out what happened to an animal that washed up on shore. What happened to make a female pilot whale wash up on a beach on the island of Skye. First reports say that the young whale got into a fight with a bottlenose dolphin, or bottlenose dolphins, which was a surprise. The necropsy, that's an autopsy done on an animal, is still going on, but early reports say that the young whale had a fierce fight with bottlenose dolphins. The experts said that the whale seemed to be in good shape, except that she had several deep cuts all over her body. These rake marks were 10 to 12 millimeters apart, which is the same as how dolphin teeth are spaced. The dolphins in Scottish seas are bigger than their cousins in other parts of the world.
it's possible that a pod charged the whale. But dolphin expert Dr. Justin Gregg says that's not likely. I haven't heard of any reports that bottlenose dolphins killed a pilot whale, he says. But bottlenose dolphins, especially the ones in the area where this stranding happened, have been known to attack harbor porpoises and dolphin calves. What other animals could defeat a whale? Do you think there will ever be a bigger animal than the blue whale on Earth? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing on the screen right now.